Welcome back to my St. Louis Live. When you find out you're going to become a parent, so many things start to go through your head, including all of the things that you need to buy. And out of everything on the market, one of the absolute most important things is a car seat. And we are going to find out much more about that today. Thanks to our friend Brittany Kaiser with St. Louis Children's Safety Stop. Brittany, it's good to see you. Good to see you. First and foremost, for people who are not familiar, yes. what is St. Louis Children's Hospital Safety Stop? Yes, so it is a free educational program that is open to anybody to use. Uh, it covers four main areas. So we talk about car seat safety, we talk about safe sleep, we talk about bike helmet safety, and we also talk about home safety. It's a complete free program anybody's welcome to use us and we do have five different safety stops across the st louis region we're open at one of them every day of the week and you just have to call to set up an appointment you make it so easy so convenient and whenever i found out i was pregnant the first time i did call you guys because when you think about car seats, it can be really overwhelming. Yes. There are so many different brands and options out yes. there. So when you go to buy a car seat mm -hmm. for a newborn, what should you keep in mind? Yeah, so the big things to keep in mind are we want you to buy a new car seat. So not a used car seat from a resale shop or Facebook Marketplace. This can be really dangerous for a couple of reasons. One is you don't know if it's been in a car accident, so it could be compromised. Mm -hmm. Another one is you don't know what the internal structure of the car seat looks like, if it's been damaged, if there are things that broken in there that would compromise how the car seat would react in a crash. Um, and another thing is car seats do expire. So we want to make sure that they're not expired and they're new and they're fresh. Mm -hmm. We also don't want families to buy aftermarket products to put into their car seats. So when you pull this out of the box, whatever's with it is what you should use. Mm -hmm. Don't add any head pillows or harness covers. This can be really dangerous, especially for newborns. They can compromise their airway and how they sit in the mm -hmm. car seat. And I'll be honest, when I was looking for a car seat, I was shocked at how many extras you yes. could buy. Oh, you can buy them all. The, the, you, I came to you and you're like, no, you're you're returning no <laughs> installation though can be tricky yes let's yeah. go ahead and walk through yes, the definitely. installation process for a car seat because not only do you need the car seat you need the base you need too. the base yes definitely so every car seat is different there are however a few things that are similar from car seat to car seat which is we never want car seats to move more than an inch at the belt path so we check here and make sure when we tug that it doesn't move more than an inch which mm -hmm. it does not we also want to make sure that the level is accurate so every car seat is going to have a level for a rear facing infant base and we want to make sure that's level it's going to keep the child at a 45 degree angle mm -hmm. so their heads aren't dipping down while you're driving and you can rest assured that they're nice and back let's go ahead and put this yes. guy in and then for families like mine who are about ready to welcome another child. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> of course, we have to then start thinking about the next phase. Yes. When do we move the baby or the older one out of the car seat and into the next stage? Yes, of car that's seat. a great question because we get asked that all the time at Safety Stop. It really makes a difference on what you're most comfortable with mm -hmm. because most convertible car seats are the all in ones or the next stage. Most of them start at a five pound baby. So it's really if you're tired of lugging this thing around <laughs> mm -hmm. and you don't want to carry them in that anymore and you'd rather just take them in and out, then you can go ahead and move them to the next stage. It's all about checking your sticker to see what the weight requirement are mm -hmm. and with that we want them to stay rear facing for a long time mm -hmm. uh, they should be rear facing much longer than most people think so most people think okay like when they're around two we'll probably flip them forward it's actually as long as possible okay. so the height and weight max of your rear facing car seat we want you to meet that first so that could be a four or five year old still rear facing because some car seats go to 40 even 50 pounds mm -hmm. now so we want them rear facing as long as possible they're so much safer in a crash they sustain far less injuries and far less severe injuries as well and even though I'm now out on maternity leave, we will have mom club segments every Monday right here on My St. Louis Live. And you can still email me ideas. I'd love to hear from you. Laura.hedegar at firstalert4.com.